Hello, math rock stars. It's Miss and Ferreira back for another day of Number Corner. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I have our March calendar up. We were going over some of the patterns on Friday, the last time we met, and I created here a document for our March calendar observation, and that will help us to keep track of all of the patterns. And boys and girls, you might notice it kind of looks familiar to you. We had something similar to this on our math uh, number corner board in the classroom. I just created a Word document to keep track of it all to make it a little easier. So the last time we were we met, we discussed on Friday, Friday's date, and also how much time went by and the time. I'm just going to review the pattern with the amount of time that went by. The pattern, I'll start at the top, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, 30, 30, one hour. So we can just go all the way down and see what we think might come next. Also, the type of clock. We have analog, 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 digital. And that's the pattern. I'm going to scroll down so you can see what you think might come next with that pattern. And the time, the last time we were here, it showed 2 o'clock. So think of the pattern, how much time goes by, and think of what time the clock's going to show, how much time goes by, and also the type of clock. I'm going to go back to our calendar here, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So we can see it a little bit better. And the color of the clock, that pattern was red, yellow, green, brown. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do a little turn and talk with your parents to talk about what kind of clock it's going to be, your predictions, what color of the clock, and also what time you think the clock says based on the pattern. All right, I'm going to you 30 seconds. Here you go. All right, let's take a look at the clock and see, let me just cancel this real fast. Let's see if your predictions were right. So today's date is Monday, March the 23rd, 2020. So I'm gonna flip this over to see what type of clock it is and what color. All right, so here we have a green analog clock and it used to show on this analog clock before two o'clock and now it went to 2.30. So I'm going to bring up our little analog clock here that we used the last time. And I want it to match instead of from Sundays, I want it to match for today, Monday. So from two o'clock to 2.30, let's practice counting by fives. And we want this minute hand to point all the way down to the six. So let's count by fives together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you see here, 30 minutes have gone by from yesterday's clock to today's, and now it shows 2.30. So if you guessed a green analog clock that showed the time 2.30 with only 30 minutes that, go, that went by, please kiss your brains because you are some math smarty pants over there. I'm going to update this as well for today's date. Today is the 23rd of March. I'm gonna type in here analog, and it shows 2.30, and 30 minutes gone by, and we already discussed 30 minutes is half of an hour, half hour. All right, so our calendar observation is updated. Now it's time to go to our days in school. And remember, we point to this whole grid since it's already filled in. We point to it and say 100. There's no need to count all of them or even the, even the uh, columns by tens. We can just point to it and say 100. Now we're going to keep counting up by tens on our second chart. 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, and now I have to add another X here, 
let me change this color to blue so it matches. So this would be after 123, this is the 124th day of the school year. So I'm gonna go to our how many days in school. I need to change the color again back to green because I wanna put another green little ones right here. So we have one whole group of 100. We counted these 10 rods by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have one group of 100. That's why there's one here to represent the one group of 100. Then I have two 10 rods here. That represents that red two there. One, two, 10, 20. So that's 120, 121, 122, 123. One for today makes 124. So the green color for the ones it used to say a three. I'm going to get my eraser here. I'm gonna get rid of this three and we're gonna change it to a four. Oh, that didn't work, let's try that. Here we go. So we've been in school for 124 days. All right, the last time we met, I also told you that we were going to do our game here with the spinner with the coins i just want to review with you the coins that are on the spinner one of the coins we have here is the dime and we have a little poem here dime dime little and thin i remember you're worth 10. so we have 10 cents for the dime nickel 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 thick and fat you're worth five cents i know that so a nickel's worth five and then we have the penny poem. Penny, penny, easily spent, copper brown, and worth one cent. So keep those things in mind when we play this game. All right, so we have our, our spinner with our pennies, nickels, and dimes. All right, here we go, I'm gonna give it a spin. All right, so here we have three coins here. Can anybody guess what that is? Do a little turn and talk with your parents. And if you said that we have three pennies, please kiss your brains. And then we have one more coin here. It's a little different. Do a little turn and talk with your parents. What coin do you think that is? If you said a dime, please kiss your brains. So we have one dime and three pennies. Let me just zoom out of here really fast. Move this over because I want to add some of these to our graphing mat. So since the, since the dime is worth 10, it's worth, worth the most, I'm going to put the dime first. And then we have three pennies here. I'm gonna do that second. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna grab another one on heads. Two, and let me grab another one that's on heads. Three. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to point to the dime and I'm gonna say 10 because it's worth 10 cents. But as I'm counting the pennies, I'm gonna count up only by one because pennies are worth one cent. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13. So here we have 13 cents. I'm going to record that on our graphing mat. And let's see, how about if I use orange? We haven't used that yet. So I'm gonna write 13 cents next to it. That way we can keep track daily. Sorry, my handwriting is not the best when I'm using a touchpad. Remember when we do cents, we put the letter C with the line through it. All right, so that finishes up our number corner for Monday, March the 23rd, 2020. I hope everybody has an awesome day and uh, keep in touch. Talk to you soon, bye.